I know. I'm, do you think I knew this was going to happen? I scheduled it so soon because I want to get it over with. I don't know, Mom. He's not here, so I can't tell you what to tell them other than we can't have the service without him. Yeah. I will call you if I hear anything. What did you lose? Excuse me? Well, they lost one of my bags. What about you? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. <laughs> Try me. They lost my father. I'm sorry? He died in Australia a couple of days ago, and um, I flew down to get him. My condolences. Who? Coffin was supposed to go on the plane in Sydney, but it didn't. Apparently, he's somewhere in transit, which is their way of saying they have no idea where the hell he is. Well, how could they know? They're the ones that checked him in. I mean, they've got to have some kind of tracking system. No, I'm not talking about the coffin. I mean, how could they know where he is? They didn't lose your father. They just lost his body. Either way, your story beats the hell out of mine. All that was in my suitcase was a bunch of knives. Thanks. Some kind of salesman? Yeah, something like that. Well, it was nice talking to you. Uh, hope you find that coffin. <sighs> hope you find your knives. Yeah, thanks. Do you mind if I ask what happened to you? I'm sorry. I'm only asking because I'm a spinal surgeon. I, I didn't mean to. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Uh, uh, surgery isn't going to do anything to help me. Uh, my condition is irreversible. Nothing's irreversible. Um, if you ever want a consult, just uh, give me a call. It's on the house. Well, thanks. Jack Shepard. I'm John. John Locke. It's nice to meet you, John. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks. You're welcome. 